हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू वीडियो नंबर 66 ऑफ द चैनल किम फिली एंड वीडियो नंबर 66 इज द एथ एपिसोड ऑफ केमिकल थर्मोडायनामिक्स एंड टॉपिक ऑफ दिस एथ एपिसोड इज वर्क एंड प्रेशर वॉल्यूम वर्क नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट सी व्हेन सपोज अ सिस्टम इज इन स्टेट 1 एंड नाउ it has gone to state 2. So, whenever any system goes from one state to other state, you know it macroscopic properties changes and its energy changes. Why? Because during the transformation from one state to another state, either system takes this energy from the surroundings or it releases energy to the surroundings. So, this energy transfer occurs between system and surrounding during this state change. And this energy transfer occurs as heat or work. So, work we can write it as Work is nothing but the mode of energy transfer, energy transfer other than, other than by means of heat. So, energy is transferred either by heat or by work. Now, come to the definition of work. See, this pain is here. Just by, I am applying muscular force to this pain. That means, I am putting some effort to this pain and the pain displaced. Then, work is done by me. That means, work is said to be done. So, what we can write it as applied force into displacement, right? Another thing you see, so this pain is here, initially in this position, ground position. I am just taking it little high position. That means I have worked against the gravitational force, against its weight. So, this energy, I have worked on it, this energy stored in this pain as potential energy. When I remove it, then it will fall down. That means this potential energy will convert to kinetic energy and it will fall down. So, this work which is done against the gravitational force that is known as the gravitational work. Now, coming to this pressure volume work. This pressure volume work, it is, it is said to be done during the expansion or contraction of the gases. Okay. So, pressure volume work, that is the work of, work of expansion, expansion, or contraction, contraction of gas and it is a mechanical type of work. Okay. So, now we come to the unit of work. After that, I will explain this pressure volume work in details. First, we will discuss the unit of work. So, unit of work. So, what is work? Work is force into displacement. Right? Now, in CGS system, unit of force is dime. And unit of displacement is centimeter. So, in CGS system, unit of work is dime centimeter, which is known as arcs. And in MK system or standard system, this is force into displacement. Unit of force is Newton. 
and the displacement is meter. So, Newton meter. This is joules. This is known as joules. And 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 arcs. Now, before going to the details explanation of pressure volume work, one more thing I want to tell you. This work is the ordered form of energy. Whereas, heat is the disordered form of energy. So, from ordered form, you can take it to the disordered form. But from the disordered form, converting to ordered form, that is not 100% possible. So, heat cannot be, cannot be, heat cannot be converted to, converted to work. 100%. Now, let's discuss this pressure volume work. So, PV work or pressure volume work. Okay. Just you see, just imagine a gas is enclosed in a cylinder. Okay. And the cylinder is attached with a piston which is movable. So, inside the cylinder, gas is there. Okay. So, this piston is movable. And just imagine on the piston, I have kept some weight. Okay. Right? Now, when the cylinder, that means this piston is in the stationary state or static state, then pressure of the gas which is acting in the upwards direction will be is equal to external pressure which is acting at the downwards direction. Okay. Now, this external pressure means atmospheric pressure, weight of the piston and this weight I have kept it. Okay. So, at the stationary condition or static condition, then we can write P gas is equal to P external. Now, just imagine you have removed one weight. That means you have decreased the external pressure. When you have decreased the external pressure, then what will happen? Pressure of the gas will be greater than external pressure. Then gas will move the piston upwards direction. That means gas will work or work will be done by the gas by moving the piston and say the piston has come to this position. From this position, it has come to this position. So, one weight I have removed here, one more weight. Okay, piston has come to this position. That means there is some displacement of this piston. That displacement is, say, it is D. Okay, so... Initially, volume of the gas this much to this much. Say this is V1. Now, after displacement of the piston or when the gas moved the piston and after coming to this position, it becomes statics. Then, this volume is your say V2. So, displacement is D and the volume change is V2 minus V1. That means this much is the volume. So, this is the expansion. Gas is expanded by this volume. Okay. Then, what is the... Now, here the gas work on the piston. That means work is done by the piston. Remember, during expansion work done by... Sorry, work is done by the gas. So, remember, during expansion work is done by the gas. Okay. Now, what is this work? Work W will be is equal to your force into displacement. Okay. So, W will be is equal to force. We can write pressure into area. Pressure means external pressure. We have decreased the external pressure, then constant. Okay. So, gas work again that constant external pressure. A into the displacement. So, this is P, that is external pressure. A is the area of this piston and D is the displacement. 
so this indicates this volume this volume is this change in the volume this much of volume is v2 minus v1 that means change in the volume delta v that means work done by the gas is p into change in the volume that means final volume minus initial volume right now suppose if the contraction occurs that means if the piston moves down so in that case what happened external pressure will be more than the gas pressure so the piston moves down so contraction takes place when the contraction takes place that means volume decreases then work is done on the gas okay and when the expansion occurs then work is done by the gas in both the cases it is pressure that is external pressure into change in the volume now one more thing during expansion we know that during expansion work done by the gas by the gas and when work is done by the gas that means it is transferring energy to the surrounding okay it is working it is putting the effort transferring energy to the surrounding then we take that work, sign of work will take it as negative minus w and during compression during compression work done work done by the surrounding okay work done by the surrounding here by the piston work done on the gas by the surrounding on the gas that means energy is transferred to the gas that's why it is we take the sign as positive see we know that when heat is absorbed that means heat is entered to the system then positive sign plus q and when heat is released from the system minus q similarly here also when work is done by the gas that means it is transferred to the surrounding then it is minus sign when work is done on the gas then energy is added to the system then it is plus w so this is all about your pressure volume work hope you have understood thank you